My guy just no munching thing. a whole f No, I'm good, thank you. Appreciate the offer. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. This hound is a bonehead. It's very cold. So here we are finally the day of the Northampton Regional Manuscrew Locals, our normal place of playing, has a regional to hold. It is going to be like 99% local people because we filled that shit up as quickly as we possibly could. Um, so it's going to be a good one. Uh, it'll be competitive, there's no question of that. Um, again, as I've always iterated, for those of you guys who watch our locals vlogs will know, um, there's probably about 10, maybe 15 people in that room that are capable, or I would say are regular regional toppers uh, there's probably about another 10 people that could easily you know creep in there capable of being in that mix myself included um, and then the rest of the room even our most casual players the vast majority will play a good well-built deck because you know we help them or they can get access to cards they otherwise wouldn't uh, they're playing against high competitive players so of course their value and ability goes up so the majority of the room is able to compete and anyone can take your scalp so it's going to be a really really strong event it always is uh and now that it's a regional it's going to step up now i think one or two players may get a shock about things like being able to take back things that they've done or you know that kind of thing yeah not today today it's a regional so anyway we're really excited to get along there uh i'll be playing gren again this week um there's nothing else to really want to play and nothing really changes till January. Uh, we've obviously got Christmas coming up, so a lot of time missed out with that. So no rush to do anything differently. So we'll just carry on playing Gren until something else comes along that's worth playing. So there we are. Anyway, uh, I need to finish getting ready. We need to wait for Jam to come pick us up, go get some actual breakfast, get a little bit earlier than usual, and then go ahead and hit up our Northampton Manuscrew Regional. <laughs> So we have just arrived, we're all getting ready for the morning, uh, getting lists ready, uh, all the usual nonsense I guess like you do before a regional, talking rubbish, going over lists, making sure we haven't missed anything, making sure we don't have any wrong things written down because that's the worst thing in the world, you don't want a deck check when you've got a wrong deck, but there we go, it's like I said, just waiting for round one now, kind of just chilling and taking our time, we've got, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or so before we kick off, so a little bit of time to just chill, get things in order and get going. So we are round one down, naturally we play against someone else on the team, we play Neo, 18th birthday, nice present for him, getting the win off me, uh, we lost, no momentum going whatsoever pretty much, game one, I think he sort of semi bricked either that or he missed, played one of the two but there wasn't enough for me to capitalise, so it is what it is, sorry I got my fucking hand over the camera there but there we are, um, yeah so I lose that one, going to the loser bracket, um, I know that two of the other people from the team are playing each other as well so this could be a super neg, especially if we end up getting paired against each other, two losers, that'll be ultra neg, that's not what we want, um, don't know how anyone else got on the team, but yeah, just lost. Couldn't get any momentum going, is what it is. Can't do anything about it. It's playing a rogue deck for you, right? So, uh, no bueno. Let's see how we get on after the next one. So we are another round down. We get the win. Uh, we play against Virtual World. It becomes a bit of an interesting game. Uh, game one and two go relatively quick. Uh, game three, uh, we have about 25 minutes maybe left on the clock. So we just go to game three. He scooped up because he realized he was going to lose that turn anyway. Um, hello. Got Jamie the kid just trying to get in like he's still relevant. Rest in peace. So, um, yeah, we're playing. It gets a really simplified game state, and I've got Zeus with like five materials or something on. 
Uh, he's got DP, uses DP. In fact, I changed Zeus. We go to a ruling. Uh, it's ruled as it should be. The DP doesn't destroy uh, because of the wording. It's got nothing to destroy on his side of the field, so therefore it can't resolve. Um, at that point, obviously, he's lost because he's got over cards. He sets one card, which turns out to be Imperial Order. I draw Duster, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then, yeah, we just swing through the game. Anything he summons is going to get cleared off by Zeus at that point. He's got no other cards, so it is what it is. So we get the win there. Nice. Um, so let's see how we get on after the next one. We are X1 after round two. Oh, here you go. Here's your two minutes. I mean, I've got plenty of frames. I know you wanted this to be back. about you. But... I know, it's because I don't record anymore. So if I sneak into yours, it's like the easy way to get myself on YouTube without any effort. Yeah, there's a couple of people who asked about you, so I blocked them. I mean, there is that. <laughs> well, you've got to keep my subscribers happy because God knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just make Cosmo deck profiles that are bad, and right. they'll go, wow, it's so just like Jamie. So many views, though. <laughs> yeah, they do. Two weeks later. Yeah, what is up YouTube? Welcome to Rufio. It's me, Jamie the Kid Zero Zero, your favorite washed up YouTuber. And today I've been wrangled into bringing you guys um, a deck list of whatever this is, Tin Can, um, I was about to say Eldritch. Tin Can Turbo. Uh, yeah, Tin Can Turbo. Uh, Cosmo Dogmatica. Um, Why play an opponent when you can just play yourself? Ah, Grand Margie. I guess playing rogue decks does have its downsides, and this is one of them. Games where you just don't see anything to actually play. Um, obviously, this is the fun of the novelty deck, right? You, you either win really quick or you lose really quick, which is great, but frustrating when you don't lose really quick. And you're like, well, maybe I see something to get into this, and it doesn't always work out like that. For example, my game one now against my opponent who was playing Bird. Uh, I go first because I know he's playing Bird. Um, I see nothing. I can literally go... Summon a monster, play mine just so he can't play during his turn, pass. We spend like 10-15 turns pass and I'm up slightly on life points and I still don't see any way to do anything. Despite all those cards I see, I still see nothing to actually kill the game off or close in. And eventually he gets rid of the mines and we lose. Um, and then game two we slide in 10 cards. See, not a single one. Not a single card for going first. On top of that, we also don't see any of our shifters, which would have helped us also going first. I didn't see any of those. So out of the 13 cards in my five card hand I saw zero so sometimes that happens that's what it is uh, a bit unfortunate there uh, it's a hard matchup for the deck anyway but particularly hard um, but there you go one of the joys of playing rogue decks but here we are we're x2 after round three we have to win the rest and hope some results go our way and hope a few people drop and maybe we squeeze in if we're lucky but probably not at this rate we'll see what happens So here we are, after another round we win, uh, so we're on 2-2 after round 4. Basically I have to win the rest and hope again that the results come our way. We play against Sword Soul, game 1, they make the board and flip Imperial Order. I'm like, well okay, that's that's me then. Uh, and then game 2 and 3 was pretty swift justice, uh, so that was fine, that felt good. Uh, so we get the win there, and like I said we've got 2 more rounds left, and then we are done for the day and see how we get on. Another round down, another victory. Thank God. <laughs> uh, we've got one round left after this. Um, again, have to hope we win. Uh, and then we've got a chance of getting in the top cut, uh, which would be amazing. But let's just keep cool and see how we get on. Uh, last round obviously counts quite a bit in this one. Um, yeah, we played against Sword Soul. Uh, game one, uh, he made Berserk a pass because I stopped him playing. Uh, I managed to OT game. Uh, and then game two, uh, I... Uh, debarried him in the middle of his plays. He swung for a bit of damage and the next time I just saw so much stuff. Uh, I saw Red Reboot off one of my draws, off one of my draw cards. Uh, he tried to uh, blackout me. I Red Rebooted him and then killed him that turn. So uh, yeah, went pretty well, about as well as it could do. So let's hope we haven't just used up all of our good luck for the last round. So we get a very, very lucky win in the end against Dragonlink. Uh, a bit of a back and forth game. Uh, it looked like we lost it at one point, but we managed to clutch it back. Uh, Super Poly is a pretty strong card, am I right? Uh, yeah, worked out quite nice in the end. Banquet of Millions was funny. It was a bit conflicting playing the two, but it worked out. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, we get a little bit lucky, but yeah, all good. So uh, let's just hope the tiebreakers favor us. Probably not though, because I think I got paired down in that one. So probably not, but we'll see how it goes. If you would like to come up and fight for your playmat. Eight place. 
Daniel. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Who needs Verte? Who needs Verte? In seventh place, Liam Wilber. Oh, yeah. In sixth place, Michael Broadman. Yeah, hurry up, Broads. Come on. Kyle Neary. Well done. So we got our standings in, unfortunately we do not get in. The ones you've seen are incorrect. Uh, I actually had three more points than what it says there. Uh, there was an issue with an entry into the system, which uh, when corrected puts me significantly higher, but unfortunately not enough to top. Uh, so I potentially got tie breaking out, but there's not really any good way to resolve it. So it is what it is, there's nothing we can do because it was too early in the tournament where the result was entered uh, incorrectly. It was just a mistake, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't think I would have got in, but then again, my tiebreakers were low because I was paired against an X3 because they thought I was X3. So it's frustrating because I might have actually topped my, my first top, but um, yeah, that's unfortunately been taken out of my hands uh, by an honest mistake. So I can't be angry about that or anything. Um, but it is what it is. So uh, yeah, a few of our guys got in though, so good for them. Uh, and we're going to hang around and get some content. Um, but yeah, a bit of a frustrating end to the tournament. What can you do? Nothing happens. We just have to top the next one. Walking down the street like a fucking boy band. Cringe. Bye, you fuck. Are we going to kick Jamie's car on the way out? What? what? Oh, mate, I can't wait to see how many sentry alerts I have. <laughs> People just looking through the windows like, oh, look at this car. Yeah, you go. Whee! What am I going to do with it? Absolutely nothing good. Yeah, man. Good. See you later. Well, see you later, boys. All you people win. <laughs> <laughs> the loser car is here, boys. Let's get it. It's okay, some of us don't actually lose our games, we just get them entered wrong. Entered wrong? <laughs> oh yeah, that's not good. My guy just munching a whole fucking cake. No, I'm good, thank you. Appreciate the offer. And you said this belongs to your missus. Evidence on camera here. When you say the kids did it, we have proof otherwise. <laughs> 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 Ah, oh, let's fucking go home. <laughs>